Let's try. Samyang bowl duck yakisoba noodles. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sea Slurps and Mystery Mondays. I am back, sorry for the hiatus on videos. I got married and did some wonderful things on a honeymoon, and now I'm back eating noodles. Not to say I didn't have noodles while I was away, but my husband picked up these right before we left and didn't have time to film. So, super excited to try these yakisoba style noodles by Samyang bowl duck. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so we got our noodle block here. We got our signature bulldog sauce, as well as our bulldog mayo. We're gonna add hot boiling water up until the fill line. We're gonna go ahead and close that, seal that, and cook that for four minutes. Once that's all done, we're going to poke some holes. There's like a few different um, holes here. One, two, three, that you can kind of poke your chopstick through. And that acts as a draining mechanism for our noodles. So let's go ahead and drain those noodles. We're then going to add the bowl duck sauce as well as the bowl duck mayo. Stir and enjoy. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is the finished product. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, Samyang Bulldog Yakisoba. You never disappoint. So of course with these ones, this is a dry noodle, like with all Samyang noodles. This one here is a little bit different. This one here is in a big cup bowl. Um, right off the bat, obviously, and I have never tried the other Samyang cup bowl noodles, but the noodles are not the same as you would get on the stovetop version. So FYI, uh, FYI that's a, a factor for you. I personally found these to be a bit ordinary for the noodles. You don't get that Signature, signature chew on it, no no bite to it. Just a regular noodle that soaks up the sauce quite nicely. Um, this one here is a yakisoba style sauce, so it's a very heavy on the Worcestershire sauce. So you get quite a bit of tang that's coming through, along with that signature bulldog spice. So this one here, I would say is comparable to their original version one, their hot chicken ramen. It's a very similar spice to that, so it's spicy for those who can't tolerate spice. It's spicy enough for those who love spice. Again, maybe like a low to medium type of spice for myself speaking. Um, you also get a packet of the bulldog mayo, and if you've ever tried bulldog mayo, it's awesome. You can go ahead and buy that separately. It's delicious. Um, I honestly, I felt it was more of an afterthought for this. Um, it would have been nice to have like a bigger packet of that mayo to drizzle on top of it at the end and for you to mix it all. Uh, at your own pace or up to your own preference because I really feel like it's missing that creaminess that you get from like that big drizzle of uh, cutie mayo that usually comes on top of yakisoba style noodles. So that to me is missing a little bit. I just wish there was more and more creaminess in my opinion. The flakes already come in with the bowl and here you just get big pieces of green cabbage which hydrate really well. They're nice, slightly crunchy, adds a nice bit of sweetness to the dish as well, which I think is needed. Um, and overall, very tasty. I'd probably be more inclined to buy this in a regular stovetop edition, uh, just because I really am missing that mouthfeel and it would have better served with a thicker style noodle, in my opinion. Um, I think that would really help resemble a yakisoba a lot more. So obviously not really super authentic, Tastes delicious, good hit of Worcestershire sauce and spice on that one, but lacking a few components that would give it a perfect score. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 4.25 out of five. I really enjoyed these. Would be curious to try them again on the stove top, um, but they are delicious nonetheless. Give them a try. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe in the link down below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell it's just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see you for next week. Bye.